seven and one. A stage for local school children and for national tours. Two, three, four, one. Cessnock Performing Arts Centre sits at the heart of a district that stared down drought, bushfires and now coronavirus. It definitely is the Cessnock's Opera House. It's, um, it's, it's brought people together from what I, I, I know. Uh, it's brought friends to me. But the Council Theatre's bid for new lighting failed to receive funding. A fairly modest application for $118,000. They were going to install LED lighting. Now the reality is that that drives down costs. Through freedom of information laws, the ABC has discovered independent assessors ranked more than 150 applications in order of merit. But the government ignored the advice and cherry-picked its favourite projects. This is pork barrelling at its absolute political worst. 56 projects across 23 electorates shared in a $47 million funding bonanza. Almost 95% of the money went to coalition seats. More than $30 million went to 12 seats held by Nationals MPs. $12 million was spent in Liberal seats. $3 million was targeted at seats held by minor parties. Just one ALP seat received any funding at all. The government has fended off claims its process descended into pork barrelling. Those critics will always say that uh, I always fight for our fair share. They were all funded based on merit and the programs are designed where the discretion is always left with the minister. In the Ballina electorate, a privately owned cinema and a community hall were funded. They just pick who they want, despite the recommendations of the independent assessors. And it's very, very disappointing. The Gosford Uniting Church received $4,000 to replace its lighting desk. It was the only grant given out in a Labor electorate. And that project wasn't even recommended for funding. Michaela Boland, ABC News.